So in the book, along these lines, uh, you have um, a section that has a number of quotes from various people. And of course, as books go, uh, the bigger the name, the uh, more experience they have in a field, uh, the more that I think people kind of pay attention to what's inside the book. Um, (laughs) And one of the folks uh, that you have a quote from is Scott Pruitt, who's the former head of the uh, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. It was an environmental agency. And uh, again, the book's name is Fossil Future, Why Global Human Flourishing Requires More Oil, Coal, and Natural Gas, Not Less. And so immediately already the ESG people's heads are in a blender because they don't understand what is the former EPA head doing, you know, uh, providing quote for this book. But what he says is, uh, quote, stepping in once again to the oftentimes divisive but very consequential energy and climate conversation is Alex Epstein's fossil future, arguing that fossil futures, uh, fossil fuels not only have a place in our global tomorrows, but are a necessity to human flourishing. We need more, not less, voices in the climate marketplace capable of thoughtful engagement and critical analysis. Alex profers both in Fossil Future, and it is my hope that the amalgamation of his research, data, analysis, and rhetoric will yield a more constructive conversation about our energy and climate choices. Now, end quote. When I read that, it tells me that the former EPA head says, hey, maybe there's way more weight in the fossil fuels Uh, and the importance of it for human flourishing, which he explicitly states there. Uh, But he's not approaching it in a binary sense. All fossil fuels, all renewable. He's saying that there's Uh probably uh, room for both. 